Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. If you can't tell by the way I am dressed, we are building something from, once again, the Fallout series. It's one of my favorite video games of all times, and I thought as Halloween is coming very close, why not show you an easy way to make some accessories, like little weapons or something, to go along with your costume. I freehand a lot of my patterns, and that's the way I'm going to do it on this one, but you could just as easily pull a screenshot, size it up to fit your hands, and go from there. Uh, but I thought, why not make something from Fallout, because it's it's been a while. Um, and I was thinking about things that would easily translate into others to kind of give you that showing of how, and I thought, why not make a knife? It's pretty simple. A lot of like the horror movies use knives as the weapon, and there's a pretty fierce looking one in Fallout that I wanted to try. In particular from Fallout 3, there is the trench knife. A trench knife was something very common in warfare, especially starting in World War I, when there was close hand-to-hand -hand combat, and they needed something a little bit more than just a little stabby, so they added like brass knuckles or little spiked parts onto it to increase the damage, we'll say. So that's what we're gonna do. Today we are building a trench knife from Fallout 3. Let's get to building. Um, I'm gonna put on some jams. And uh, let's get to it. Disclaimer before we start here, I just want to make sure that you know if you're making a weapon that looks like an actual weapon, be careful bringing those kind of things out in public. You don't want people to get the wrong idea and see something and think that you're holding a real one, so please be smart and be careful. Just use this for cosplay. Before I started recording, I looked at a couple of reference images online of the weapon in the game, and using my hand for scale, I rough sketched out a shape of the knife. Once I was satisfied with that shape, I locked it in with a sharpie marker gave each piece names, figured out the thickness of each part, overlays, and how many copies of each one I'll need. This seems pretty straightforward, but it can take an hour or two to figure out all the details. I trace it onto various materials and cut it out. For everything but the handle, I'm using What the Foam from Cosplay Apprentice. It's a lot more dense foam and it'll make the end result more rigid. This is some 10 millimeter foam here for the handle. I'll need two of these. Any and all of these thicknesses are arbitrary and just decided by me based on the access I have to the different types of foam. If you want to make it thicker or thinner, feel free to experiment. Cardboard, foam board, whatever tickles your fancy. My way is not the only way. While yes, the what the foam is more rigid, I still think it needs a little bit of support in the middle. Nothing less terrifying than a floppy trench knife shook at you. You've seen this probably a dozen or more times from me and a bajillion more by other makers. You hollow out a channel on the inside of your foam parts to glue a wire in. This will give the prop the much needed support. Those cheap Spirit Halloween foam props that you can get have similar structures in them, either a wire or a carbon fiber rod.
I used a wood burner because I can make the trench fit a lot snugger against the wire because it is the concave shape that I need, so there's less voids. You could cut it out or sand it out if you wanted to. When burning or sanding foam, make sure to wear a respirator and work in a well-ventilated area so you don't breathe in the fumes or particulates. After contact cementing the insides of each part, I'm ready for the assembly of the blade. The wire is super glued onto the blade to anchor it in. I glued up the handle, but not permanently to the wire as I still need to shape it with a rotary tool and burn in the ridges. With the blade glued in, I even up the edges with my rotary tool and begin putting the edge on the blade, holding my rotary tool at a slight angle, working towards half the thickness of the foam. The back of the knife design has a pretty typical serrated edge that I'm just going to burn in with the wood burner. For you it may be hard to see, but I have marked the spacing off with a black sharpie and I just burn away. Try to just touch the bit to the foam and not the hot end you screw it to, otherwise you'll have to claim battle damage on the back side later. Um, I may have done that. Now that we have all the bits in their final shape, I can glue it all together. The handle guard gets poked through by the middle wire, followed by the handle, then the remaining end of the handle guard. The part labeled bolster then gets glued just above the handle guard and sanded even. I ran out of camera battery and didn't realize that it wasn't recording as I heat formed the handle guard into shape. It was literally just me heating up both sides of the foam and bending it to make the knuckle bumps on the handle guard.
The last thing needed to add to this design was the spikes. There's one over each knuckle and one on the butt of the knife for a total of five. I used a half inch EVA dowel, sanded it to a cone shape, then cut it to length. Once smoothed over with a stone bit, I super glued the tips to reinforce it and make it a little bit more durable and then super glued them to the handle. Two coats of Plasti Dip. The paint job was pretty simple. I used Silver Rub and Buff for the blade with a dry brush technique and hand painted the rest of the colors on using some gunmetal black and brown acrylic paints. Once dry, I dirtied them up a little bit with a couple of washes and I lightly hit the edges of a handle with a lighter brown to make the faux leather look aged. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Super easy build. Took me maybe an hour, hour and a half to build. Uh, and then another 30 minutes or so to paint all together. So fairly simple, something definitely that you can knock out quick. And if you leave it till the last minute, not that bad. Uh, but yeah, it is 100% foam other than that little piece of uh, wire that we stuck in the middle. I like it may be two ounces like it is so ridiculously light and looks pretty cool so yeah maybe you'll try and make one of these yourselves and impress your friends with your ability to pull little small weapons from games do it in a short amount of time and make something super threatening that you wouldn't want to get in a trench with and fight against somebody yeah maybe you'll get some yay and inevitably they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give one of these, tell them much props. Um, I could, I could give you a little stabby stab or a punchy punch. Let's go with, let's go with that punch. All right, prepare yourself. Huh! If you enjoy what I do here on YouTube and want to see more builds like this one, please consider joining these awesome people listed here with me over on my Patreon to build a bigger, better, more creative community together.